Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to add boot to UEFI firmware in your desktop context menu. So when you right-click on your desktop. Now, there's a handful of ways to get to the firmware settings. Through Windows, it's quite a few extra steps. So what we've done is we've created this context menu item, which is going to allow you to boot without having to go through all the steps in Windows. Or, if you don't know how to do it, it'll save you the trouble. So download the files. And look up here in the video description or check the video description below to get the link to download this file. So it's three files in here. You have, obviously that's your default setting, but you have add it to the bottom, add it to the top. So we're going to add it to the bottom. We should say add towards the bottom. You'll see what I mean. So that allow you to, depending on how you use your context menu, see it's down here. A lot of times down here is best, but that's up to you. You can put it up here by using the top in case you tend to play with personalized display settings and new more often so you don't bump it by mistake. However, you can get out of it. Now, one draw is I've had it where I had to do it twice, not the end of the world. So we'll right click on our desktop. Well, hold on, I got ahead of you. So you'll choose the one you want, double click it, click run, click yes, click yes, click OK. So basically, click, click, click. Same old, same old. You're probably familiar with it. And let's do it. Right click. Oops, what did I do? Remove it. Oh, it's on the top. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. All right. Uh, boot to you. Right click. We'll hit it. As you can see, it's going to run a PowerShell command. And it'll say Windows is going to shut down less than a minute. So what you want to watch out for here, and this happened to me a couple of times. I think it's a one-time thing as far as I can tell. First time I ran it, nothing happened. And I thought maybe I'd broken the script. So I went ahead and did it the second time, and it worked fine. It's also worth noting while we're here that you really want to close out all your apps before you do this. Obviously, you can hit close, and you have, well, less than a minute to get in there, save any work you have, and close any open applications. And now your computer will reboot, and it'll bring you right up into your firmware settings. Here we go. There you have it. Piece of cake. That's it. Bottom right corner, as always, my friends. You know you can find the little subscribe button right over here. Probably really easy to spot with this big blank screen. You click on that, you can subscribe. Click like if we helped you out. Leave a comment. Do whatever you do you. Thanks for watching, as always. See you.